Church throughout the nations, live from Telegracia International Studios, prepare to receive the desired of all nations, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Dr. José Luis de Jesús, the man Christ Jesus. Yo, Jesucristo Hombre. Today's topic is the law made nothing perfect. Today's topic, the law made nothing perfect. And look, the law is good, but it could not perfect anything because she is perfect. But what she wanted to perfect was the believer, but she couldn't. Who wasn't she able to perfect? Well, no one who believed because through the law, you will never be justified before the Lord. In Hebrews chapter 7 verse 18 and 19 is where our reading today begins. It says in the gospel, not Jose Luis. Jose Luis isn't saying this, but the gospel, which is our evidence. In chapter 7, Verses 18 through 19, it says, For on the one hand, there is an annulling of the firm, former commandment because of its weakness and unprofitableness. I repeat, annulling of the former commandment because of its weakness and unprofitableness. For the law made nothing perfect. Repeat after me, the law made nothing perfect. there is the bringing in of a better hope through which we draw near to God. In other words, the law could not perfect Peter, John, James, or any of those apostles. It could have, but if the eyes are not enlightened, you do not feel perf perfected. So then those people that wrote those books, James, first of peter second of peter first of john second of john third of john um judas and revelations are people that could not see themselves perfect imagine when john saw the beast he saw the devil instead of seeing god when he saw the 666 he saw the number of the devil instead of seeing the number of god the number of the man christ jesus because there are people these are people that are not perfected. They are, they are a danger. A pastor that preaches in one of those pulpits who doesn't see himself perfect kills you. Each Sunday, they give you a preaching that will destroy your mind. Because the idea of the covenant is to enter into a clean conscience. Look what it says. Well, what did Jesus, what did Christ sacrifice to? Look at there in Hebrews. For the law appoints as high priests men who have weakness. But the word of the oath which came after the law appoints the son who has been perfected forever. Imagine the son who has been perfected forever. And he does the same with us. He presents us perfect forever. Look at what chapter 8 says. Let's continue to see these chapters in Hebrew, which are so rich and help us to be educated. Chapter 8, verse 6 and 7. Verse 6 says, um, But now he has obtained a more excellent ministry, inasmuch as he, speaking of Jesus of Nazareth, is also mediator of a better covenant. Even though Jesus of Nazareth could not mediate, he just, he set the table, and the man Christ Jesus is the one who serves. Of a better covenant, which was established on better promises. For, it, for if that first covenant had been faultless, then no place would have been sought for a second. He's speaking of the covenant of grace. And listen, this job that the man Christ Jesus is doing worldwide, 
was announced by Zachariah through Zerubbabel. Look at how it says in chapter 4, verse 9. He explains that he had a plumb line. Do you know what a plumb line is? When it's hung on the wall, it's used it's used to put wallpaper. Once on the wall, when it stops moving, it gives you a straight line. So the paper is straight. That's what a plumb line is. And so this was speaking of the unity of the Spirit that Paul mentions in Ephesians chapter 4 when it says the unity of the Spirit. In other words, a rule of 12 inches, not a ruler of 15 like the circumcision. Last week we spoke of that rule that we have, we have to be with. The same rule and its perfection. God perfected us. Look at, what, look at what it says in chapter 3, verse 9. For behold, the stone that I have laid before Joshua, upon the stone are seven eyes. Behold, I will engrave its inscription, says the Lord of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of the land. In how many days? In one day. It entered in one day, so it could leave in one day. That's why we affirm that there is no sin because he has taken it away. Jesus Christ did his work. In chapter 4, verse 14, it says, So he said, These are the two anointed ones who stand beside the Lord of the whole earth, Jesus of Nazareth and Jose Luis de Jesus. That's what the two angels told me. That's what they said. Stay right there because the Lord of Lords and King of Kings is coming to anoint you. He passed on the baton. Jesus of Nazareth resurrected. He went to heavenly places in inaccessible light. And now, in these days of fulfillment, he passes the baton to the second appointed, which is the man Christ Jesus, which presents you the unity of the Spirit. Now, what did this new priesthood accomplish? Look at what it says. Look at how it says in Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 13 Let, let's begin with chapter 11 Hebrews 9 11 through the 13th but Christ in this case as a high priest he came as a high priest because this was to be known now in this manifestation of the man Christ Jesus because it was written 2,000 years ago. But Christ, the first anointed, could mediate. The second anointed one is mediating, so these things are known. But Christ came as high priest of the good things to come, with the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, in other words, not of this creation, not of this, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood he entered the most holy place once for all, having obtained what? Eternal redemption. That's saved, always saved, eternal salvation. If it's eternal salvation, then there is no end. And it, it confirms it in verse 26. It says, He then would have had to suffer often since the foundation of the world, but now once at the end of the ages. See, this is now, not before. He has appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. Now it's now it's known. It happened before, but it takes place now. The Growing in Grace ministry does not have conscience of sin. All the other ministries are in a conscience of sin because they believe that sin is alive. And finally... Finally, in verse 14 of chapter 10, it says what Christ did for those who know him. For by one offering he has perfected forever those who are being sacrificed, sanctified, sanctified. With one offering he has made us 
perfect forever. The ministry sees itself perfect forever. It's a danger to be with someone that doesn't understand this. Your partner has to see you perfect. And, and the collaborator that's up in front has to see you perfect forever. You can't put your eyes on the on the on the fact that you have defects in your in flesh. In other words, here the flesh profits nothing. Don't be led by friendship, by family, or by feelings. Here we are guided by what is written. If you honor what is written, if you see it with the eyes of perfection, then everything will work out well because that is the rule. The rule is perfection. But if you utilize another ruler, and the building will come out will come out crooked. Everything has to be squared. That is what Jesus of Nazareth did on the cross, which we honor what he did in the cross, that sacrifice. We honor that blood. Us, the ministry of growing in grace, we specialize in giving value to that blood that was shed. We do not step on that blood saying that there is sin that there are demons, that there is a devil. No, we, we do not step on the blood of the covenant. We honor that sacrifice. The second anointed one has to honor what the first anointed one did. So blessed, we continue in the countdown. We continue seeing what is eternal. We continue to see the covenant just as it's written. We continue to see the powerful gospel of the uncircumcision that was brought to us by our Apostle Paul, who said, I am not a servant of man or by man, but by Jesus Christ, who revealed it to me. I love you very much. It will be until the next time where we will continue to deal with eternal things, things of value that edify the family, that edify the children, the, man, the matrimony, and edify an entire nation. Blessed with all blessings. Until next time.